Well, we're up here in Breckenridge, Colorado. Pretty cool cabin that we rented for this weekend. Um, pretty cool is an understatement. Um, pretty epic views. Anyways, um, we're going on a little hike this morning. Going to try to do uh, maybe some snowshoeing or something. And uh, I'm going to take some photos for a client while I'm up here. And then I um, thought it'd be kind of cool to talk about this little thing right here. This is the DD Pocket Wireless system. And um, there's a lot of these like, you know, small pocket size units right now. I'm actually using it to record right now. There's, there's a bunch of these little pocket sized units out there with, you know, DJI and Rode and, and Deity. And they all, you know, the bunch of those are kind of the, the, the heavy hitters uh, in, in the market. And um, so it, it's just kind of why pick one over the other, all that kind of stuff. Um, this isn't going to be a direct comparison with all of those. This is just going to be kind of my thoughts on this thing and kind of why I thought that this was a, was a pretty good unit and an, an interesting unit to pick up over those other units. So, um, yeah, so try to do somewhat of a, a, a vlog type thing. So if that's not your, that your thing to watch, then, um, feel free to, to leave this video, but, uh, otherwise, uh, stick around and I'll kind of talk about uh, talk about this thing and why I why I'm kind of excited about this little thing. So um, to the woods we go. Okay, so I may have underestimated vlogging at uh, on this hike because we are well we're we're currently at ten thousand five hundred feet. So uh, I'm probably gonna be pretty out of breath. For this entire video but let's talk about the first reason why i was so attracted to this unit and that's the price point 169 dollars us at the time of recording this is pretty affordable compared to some of the competition and not only that but it, it provides some features some professional features that i really appreciate over those units that still kind of make it a little bit more attractive than some of those more expensive units. So one of the things that I really like about this unit is the fact that it has analog limiters built in. So you're not gonna have to worry about peaking your audio or anything like that. And it's really nice if you're doing run and gun type filmmaking where you wanna keep a low profile. This is a great unit because it's not only small, but it has analog limiters. And that just kind of gives you that peace of mind, especially if your camera can't record any backup tracks or anything like that. Having those analog limiters Get, just kind of gives you that peace of mind that you're not going to clip your audio. All right, so this whole time you've been hearing audio coming from this mic right here, which came in the pack that I got. Now, the cool thing, I, it's not about the mic that's really cool about this. The really cool thing about this is the fact that it takes a locking connection. And that's huge for for me, like especially like I do a lot of travel, running gun filmmaking, and having this locking connection just gives me much more peace of mind when I even plug in a different mic like my uh, Cost 11D, and I'll, I'll do a little comparison to that a little later in this video. But having this locking connection is just another little pro feature that just kind of sets this thing apart from, say, the Rode, wire, Rode Wireless Go that I have. And that Rode Wireless Go, it's fine, it, it, it's okay, but not having that locking connection really just freaks me out, and, and it prevents me from using it in a lot of scenarios where this thing, I wouldn't have much issue using this out in the field because I know that this connection is never gonna come apart. Now, I prefer using a lav mic. Typically, you're gonna get better sound quality out of it, especially if you uh, upgrade your microphone to something like a, a Sankin Cost 11D or something like that. And we'll do a little comparison uh, between the two when I get back to the studio uh, to show you that. But you can also just use uh, the built-in microphone here. Now, this isn't revolutionary for this particular system. A lot of the pocket wireless systems out there have this feature but it is just nice to have so um, if you don't want to use a lav mic whether it's cable uh, it's making through the cable through clothes or whatever you just want to strap it to a, a backpack strap or something like that or you simply just don't care about it being in frame uh, this is another option and it comes with this little furry windscreen that uh, helps block some of the wind noise and stuff like that. All right, as you can see, I'm back here at the cabin, so I'm gonna wrap this up. And uh, afterwards, if you're interested, I'm gonna do just a couple of microphone comparisons back at the studio, just to kind of compare this to the mic that comes with it and maybe a couple other lavalier microphones as well. So you can kind of get an audio quality uh, comparison there. Um, 
but I just want to wrap this up and just kind of give you my overall thoughts. Now, obviously, I didn't go over all the specs. That's something you can uh, look up uh, on their website, and I'll list some of the headline features here. Um, but the main point that I wanted to make with this unit, it really is the fact that you have uh, you have those limiters built in, which is absolutely huge. That kind of it kind of negates the need to have backup recording if you are if your intention is to record into camera. Uh, the only time you would maybe want to have that backup recording is, say, for example, you plan on filming a lot of stuff where e either you're, you're the talent or your talent is going to be uh, really far out of range. Uh, having that backup recording is useful. And if you need that, then this, uh, this unit is obviously not for you. But if you're just recording audio right into camera like I'm doing right now, um, analog limiters are super helpful just to prevent any kind of clipping or anything like that. And then the last thing is that locking connection, that three and a half mil locking connection just gives you an extra peace of mind. You can use more professional microphones if you wanna, you know, if you wanna upgrade, you can have that locked in. You don't have to worry about that uh, being ripped out, maybe the talent ripping that cable out or whatever the case may be. Uh, it just kind of gives you a much more secure and professional connection. Uh, so that's really important to me. It just means that it'd be something that I would certainly use uh, on in the field as opposed to something like the Rode Wireless Go that I have that I don't, I just don't feel comfortable really using that in the field because it's lacking that locking connection. Well, anyways, I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you found this helpful or useful, give it a thumbs up, maybe consider hit and subscribe. And um, if you want, hang out for uh, just a second. You can hear some microphone comparisons. But if you don't want to, Appreciate you watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace. Okay, I'm back home, and I'm going to do just a quick little test comparing uh, this built-in microphone with the lavalier microphone that ships with the Pocket Wireless Kit, and then the Sankin Cost 11D, which is a more expensive kind of pro-level lavalier microphone, just so you can kind of get a comparison of... Um, of the sound quality between all the different microphones. Uh, not gonna use any windscreens or anything like that. Just gonna keep them the bare microphone. So um, yeah, so we'll do that. There might be a little bit of fan noise coming from the key light here, uh, just so you can kind of get an idea of kind of what's going on. So let's go ahead and get into it and start with the built-in microphone on the transmitter. The Pocket Wireless is a compact wireless microphone kit capable of natively working with both cameras and smartphones. The receiver can even be plugged into the USB port of your laptop or PC and function as a USB microphone with the transmitter's built-in mic or the included lavalier. The Pocket Wireless is a compact wireless microphone kit capable of natively working with both cameras and smartphones. The receiver can even be plugged into the USB port of the laptop or PC and function as a USB microphone with the transmitter's built-in mic or the included lavalier. The Pocket Wireless is a compact wireless microphone kit capable of natively working with both cameras and smartphones. The receiver can even be plugged into the USB port of your laptop or PC and function as a USB microphone with the transmitter's built-in mic or included lavalier. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you found that helpful or useful or anything like that. If you did, maybe hit that subscribe button, uh, that thumbs up button, all that kind of good stuff. Drop a comment down below if you have this unit and let me know what your thoughts are as well. And um, yeah, appreciate you watching and hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.